We're on Highway 58 uh, north of Medicine Park uh, in pursuit of a storm, I guess, moving out of Hobart now. There's been reports of massive tornadoes on the ground in the uh, Cordell and Foss area. Jim said that they're showing on television. Uh, we're approaching from the south on Highway 58, a storm that's in Kiowa County right now. We're in Caddo County presently watching the storm as it moves off to the northeast. And it's pretty dark up there here to you know, back to our southwest and there's a nice anvil coming off of the storm. Pretty pretty decent definition to the edge there. Ah but oh do you see that? That's the must be that second tower. You can see the fine anvil on that one. Very much so. Oh yeah. I wonder, dude, that's pretty sharp. Can you see that? Yeah. That's okay, nice. I had to start taping again. That was obviously a pretty short pause because this this end tower on the Hobart storm has really come into view here. You can see kind of like a low cloud band extending. Like the eagle. Yeah, extending off from the south, moving north into the tower, which is through those trees, of course. And we're about to take a turn to the north along the Kiowa Caddo County line. This is just a few miles east of the Kiowa County line. Oh, now we can't see that awesome animal. Oh, I'll try to shoot it out the back. That is nice. It's on the, on the ground, okay. three miles we are of west of, at this time, of Carnegie on Highway 9, just entered Kiowa area. County. You need to take cover now. A tornado has been spotted. We are looking at a massive lowered base. Ground, Jim says there's a good hook on this. Immediately. Tornado warning also continues. We may see some I mean, this County is serious. Kiowa County um, until 6 you can but, see this uh, thing. I hope it's not right rain wrapped. It's really hard to tell. And hydro area. You can see. You need to take cover immediately. Definitely. The tornado is on the ground three miles south of Weatherford. You're listening to continuous coverage on KQ. Definitely KQ lower base. And KQ <laughs> Jim says that the most and that we should get into on Highway 9 very, is blow off the rain, so there's really no reason to be worried about it. We've already had major damage in the Cordell area. But immediately go to your safe room right now that basement and that what? storm cellar and stay there until these storms eventually move out of your area uh, this is four, very continues, uh, freaking to, big lowering uh, uh, watch this activity across this the whole thing is just like Let's a massive base but there's that news gathering it's kind of like high precip it's like this massive core in the middle trackers continue to watch these storms as they make their way uh, out of western oklahoma this is tape from chopper four earlier the storm earlier this evening was oh shit Oh my god, there are cows, cows, we got a tornado, there are cows, <laughs> just like Twister. <laughs> Alright, strategically placed trees to screw us. Okay, the inflow, man, the inflow, this is incredible. Oh, my, oh gosh. We need to stop. Up here, stop. Northeast Wash Attack at this point. At this point. Crossing going to the southeast Custer County and it's approaching uh, Interstate 40 just uh, near where the dude is going from this road. We've been telling you about the remix of the year of the year of the year of the Finding you to take cover now, leave dude. They're my, homes dude. Vehicles. Do not That's stop. It. I think there's a tornado on the ground. Especially those high. It's hard to. That is dude, there's a tornado on the ground. During the May third tornadoes a couple of years ago, people were yeah, stop. sucked out from under the overpasses. So you do not. It's I think that is a tornado on the ground. I am pretty sure it's a massive. To cover your massive hand. tornado if that's what it is but it's hard to tell because it's kind of a uh, rain wrap as it is i think we're into some right now we're into some big raindrops i don't think we're in any trouble sorry that's not very good video it's hard to tell it looks like it was rain wrap but i thought i saw a, a, a tornado hydro like custer city or thomas take cover now dude, with that dude. major damage right there. We're already there. in Cordell tonight with Where? those tornadoes and now the most serious storms that we're watching oh. now approaching the weather yeah 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 so take cover now oh Various 
very yeah. serious situation. There are some other storms in Kiowa County that were. This is a very. Kiowa the County wind is blowing directly across. Man, I'm sorry. This, the, the, the wind is blowing directly a, across. Uh, warning, kind of crossways into the uh, across the road into that massive dark thing. <laughs> very nice. Very strong inflow. It's actually kind of cold here, but we're getting into some some rain. I don't know what this is exactly from. Looks like we might have another base over here. I don't know what that's all about. It looks pretty impressive. Um, we better not. I'm going to get in the car because my, my camera is getting hosed. Hey, could you turn on the windshield wipers so I can get a good view, uh, view of it? I think I saw it. I mean, it's hard to say for sure because the thing was rain wrapped. It sure looked like it to me. It sure looked like a massive wedge. <laughs> Storm just about 10 minutes ago. It's going to pass right in front of us. Okay, I'm going to call Jim. Okay, we are. I need some information because I think we just saw a massive wedge, but it's rain wrapped, so it's hard to tell. Um, we are west of Carnegie on Highway 9, uh, which is west of that junction on the north south road that we're on. Um, what is going on our radar? Because we see a base off to the west that's pretty clear. And then like this massive rain wrap thing off to the north. 